I chose gateways because it was kind of twofold in the sense that it's going to allow me to test um, my aptitude with the with the medical curriculum. We're sitting side by side with med students, um, so we basically kind of get a quantifiable a gauge on how well you can do in the program. Um, but it was also security in the sense that I'm going to leave here with a master's. So if I decide to go back to research, um, I have that going for me. And what I really loved about Gateways in particular was that it was unique compared to other master's programs in the sense that we did the same first year curriculum as the med students with a couple minor dif differences, but we also had a lot of clinical engagement. So we were able to go to different community sites around Rhode Island and um, work with standardized patients and work with uh, physicians um, on learning how to do a physical in history. One of the main differences between the master's program and the certificate program um, is the number of courses and the capstone project. So in the certificate curriculum, I don't take the um, healthcare systems course that the master's students do, and I also don't have a required capstone project. However, I do have a lot more flexibility in my curriculum not having that extra class a week. Um, so that's enabled me to pursue my own projects which has included research, MCAT preparation, as well as uh, clinical exposure through a lot of shadowing. So for the capstone project, during the first semester, we all did a community needs assessment. So we were able to see what our community health centers needed and what their patients needed. And from the results of that, we were each able to pick our own capstone projects. Personally, I'm involved with a program that teaches nutrition to uh, Pawtucket schools. So we go into fourth grade classes and teach nutrition. For my project, I'm focusing on helping my community health center serve patients who are experiencing homelessness and who also have a mental illness. And it's actually been a really incredible opportunity being able to work with this health center in implementing these changes, not only doing this research, but really implementing change to help people. We have a really small class size and I like that because it allows us to have more like one-on-one -on -one time with like Dr. A and Dr. Mather and um, Dr. Chu. It feels like a family here, like we get a lot of support. The administration is absolutely incredible. The community, you know, the friendships that I've been able to have, um, not just in this program but over at the grad school and at the med school as well. Um, everybody's really um, welcoming and friendly and sincerely wants to help you and wants to see you succeed. We get a lot of support from our uh, from our directors, from the professors, uh, as well as each other. Even outside of the program, medical students are very nice, medical faculty are very nice, and on main campus, everything is fantastic. Everybody's very welcoming. You have a plethora of resources available for you from the program but also even just at the graduate level and even at the med school level right and so I think one of the biggest advantages is that we really work closely with the med school and it really like makes us understand like what it means to be a med student. Through Albert we get a lot of different resources and I think what I really get most out of it is the TAs. So in addition to TAs we also get uh, counseling services and we also get um, financial aid support. We also have advisors that we get assigned um, throughout the whole year that we meet with regularly. And I've been able to um, take the skills that I've learned from class in terms of working on the standardized patients and taking the history and the physical on standardized patients to actually being able to do that with my mentor in her practice. In addition to having advisors, we have a lot of different kinds of advisors. For instance, some of my peers have a physician or they have a social worker or a psychologist and it's really nice to have all these different kinds of resources and, uh, and professionals willing to help us. It's been amazing to watch the program grow and to, to see the relationships and the bonds between Gateways and the, and the medical school kind of grow over time. Um, but we, one of my, the, my favorite things that I've done here has actually been to organize a phone banking event with, um, to Congress with some medical students, which it was really great to kind of see that, you know, bridge and all of us coming together as a community um, to advocate for, for something. Um, and those are skills that you're definitely going to be using as physicians, um, you know, using your voice and, and advocating on behalf of your patients and uh, your community. This program has really given me the confidence that I needed to like 
be able to do well in medical school. Um, taking the classes with the first year medical students and like seeing how we stack up compared to them um, has really made me feel like, hey, like I can do really well in medical school, like I can do the coursework and I can stay on top of things and going into medical school knowing that we have not only like the academic side and like the public health side, it, it just makes me feel like I'm going to be very prepared for medical school and the things that medical school brings. I think that ultimately, no matter where I end up going for medical school, I will be a better physician because I've gone through this program. Um, it's taught me how to you know, think critically, um, how to hone my skills in terms of studying, and that can only benefit me throughout my entire career as a physician. Um, not only that, but the friendships that I've made here and the, um, you know, the connections that I've made here are, um, you know, these people, I, I want to talk to them and, and stay in touch for the rest of my life.